This video is for education and entertainment. This is not financial advice. All technical analysis in this video were made for pure speculation and opinion. Do not try any of these strategies for yourself. You are responsible for your own money. Do your own research. What's crack a everyone? MG here and I'm back with another cryptocurrency video let's get it guys market cap two trilly okay two trilly we are up 2.7 percent trading volume actually stayed the same for some reason 138 billion is the mark trading volume um as long as it's above 100 billion i'm not tripping i would like for it to be 500 billion 24 hour trading volume but we'll see we'll see BTC dominance hanging out at 42.2%. Ethereum dominance up, or right, at, I think it's actually down. I think last week it was 19%. I'm not sure. Gas prices, 65 guay for the standard. Safe and slow, 57. Fast, 117. Still very expensive, you guys. Very expensive. So let's go down the list here. We got Big Daddy Bitcoin hanging out at $46,111. It is up 0.3% in the 24 hour mark here. We still haven't cracked 900 billion market cap. Again, I'm still being very cautious, you guys. This might possibly be a bear trap, bear trap, a bull trap at the 50 to $52,000 levels. If you guys are in my Discord, you guys know I always talk about this just in case. So, you know, if you're in my community, make sure you take profits. Perhaps it might be a good time to take some profits on the way up, guys. Because uh, I'm not I'm not convinced yet until we build a good amount of support on the 52 on the 50 to 52k levels and make our way up to all-time highs build support there then i'll start becoming more and more hype moon lambo boy so we have ethereum 3200 dollars up 1.4 percent my cardano two dollars and ten cents guys last week was magnificent you guys know i've been in this coin since 17 while everyone was memeing i was buying you know what i'm saying uh, I don't know what your position is on this coin, but you know one thing that I think you and I can both find common ground on, assuming you are not fond of Cardano, is I'm sure we both like money. And uh, wherever it comes from, if it's going to pay you, your family, or whatever situation you're in, uh, I'll be in dirt coin if I have to. So gains don't lie people so and of course you guys know the 12th is going to be the smart contract deployment and that is going to be insane because a lot of these projects have been building on cardano for a, quite some time now and just waiting in fact i think they were waiting since march because that was the initial announcement for gogan smart contracts and now they're just chilling waiting on the sideline in a holding pattern right now and once Gogan smart contracts are live. It's just going to spring to life, guys. And there's probably going to be a supply shock. So I already have my sell my sell orders set. You know what I'm saying? This is this is years in the making, so I'm pretty I'm pretty hype. Uh easily three to five dollar Cardano here in the next couple months. Possibly ten plus at when we're blowing off. Assuming it is not a bull trap. Binance coin, I love it. 420. I'm just gonna say 420. <laughs> Hanging out at 420. Monstrous run as well. 23% across the week. And XRP, you guys. I'm telling you, man. Uh, let me take a sip of my drink real quick. Today's beverage of choice is black coffee. It's great. No sugar. I'm telling you guys. Been, I've been keeping an eye on XRP since. God, since the SEC FUD that happened in January, and I'm sure you guys know, I've mentioned it, that if this coin went below 10 cents, I would have aped in. The lowest it went was like 13. Unfortunately, that 
I, that wasn't the case. I wish it did because if it did go under 10 cents, I would be looking real good at a dollar 22 guys. And I and like I said, XRP smashing beyond its all-time high of like 390 and into five bucks is not out of the realm of possibility. Assuming we are not in a bull trap here, 56% guys, that is insane. I'm not quite sure what the fuck's going on with XRP, why the SEC is on Ripple's dick so much, because when EOS had troubles with SEC, they just got a slap on the wrist and they cut them a check for like 10 milli, so I don't understand why XRP is any different, maybe because banks around the world are going to be adopting this coin, might be the reason why, they just want to be straight laced, I don't know. My doge hanging out, 32 cents guys, look at this, 36% across the week. 8.9% uh, up 8.9% since last night uh, you know I'm in two major doggy coins dogecoin and shib when doge is winning so is shib so I like my doggy coins and you know when we enter crypto winter you know your boy's gonna be a shib and doge whale polka dot hanging out at $24 guys I'm so glad this coin is pumping 9.6% and 22% across the week not a really big performer but you know it's all good and solana season guys top 10 thank god pushing bitcoin cash down to 13 this fucking coin needs to go lower solana season boys all-time highs 66 bucks hanging out 4.5 percent across the hour 42 percent over the 24 hour and a monstrous 77 percent across the week i just want to give a shout out to the solana soldiers out there you know what i'm saying you know, you guys know I already planted my flag in the Cardano camp, but I like it when other people are making money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unless if there's something different with cashing out different coins into USDC, then maybe I can understand the tribalism. But let's grow up, guys. You know what I'm saying? We're all here. We're all here trying to make money to change our lives, to pay off debts, to change our lives for not only for ourselves but our families. So cut the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever coin you're in, I hope it pumps so you can fucking change your life and your family's life. I don't give a fuck if you're in... The only coin that I really give a fuck about is if you're in BSV. Because <laughs> you're, you're literally feeding a scam. But anything else, I'm just like, whatever. You did the research. Put your money where your mouth is, you know what I'm saying? We got Uniswap here, $29, guys. 11% across the week, not bad. Could be more. I wish it was double or triple. Uh, I still believe Uniswap is going to be a four-figure coin in the future. Uh, and, and I definitely believe it's going to be a three-figure coin when this run is over. My chain link, not chain sync, 26% across the week, 30 bucks. I still believe this coin's going to be four figures end of year. I mean, I know it's a meme, but hey, uh, that's all right. Chain link is... Mm. Bitcoin Cash, 680 bucks, 22% across the week. It was probably just pumping uh, along for the ride. Literally, no one gives a shit about Bitcoin Cash, uh, except maybe uh, s some Southeast Asian countries, uh, like Thailand specifically. Tha B BCH is really big in Thailand. And, you know, if, you, if, you're, sta if you're holding 100,000 or 10,000 Bitcoin Cash and you're in a country like Thailand... Uh, or any Southeast Asian type country, like you're you're living fat, straight up. Not gonna lie, you can really can't hate on that. Uh, Matic, 147 man, you really can't hold this coin down. 36% across the week. ETC guys, 23% across the week. My V Chain soldiers, shout out to you guys. 32% up. Stellar Lumens down 1.2, but up 32% across the week. I want I want all of these coins, the top 20s, to just pump 1,000%. Let's go. And if, when we go down here, we got my Theta, 22%. And we scroll down a little bit more, and we got my ship up 18.8%, down 0.5% on the one hour, but up 9.4% on the 24, guys. Incredible, incredible week, guys. Let's keep it up. You know what I'm saying? If you're a bull, uh, report to the bridge, we, battle stations. You know what I'm saying? We got to fight these bears. So uh, let's go over the fear and greed index here. You know what I'm saying? We are greedy, guys. 
we are fucking greedy. Uh, I'd probably say once we're at like the 80, in the 80s, perhaps look at your portfolio, look at who the winners are, shave off 10, 20, 25%, whatever you wish. You know what I'm saying? If we're at 80 plus greed, might be a time to take some profits because, uh, yeah, altcoin, uh, altcoin season index it's looking like it's bitcoin season you know what i'm saying see a lot of people are looking out for that bull trap guys so let's be careful okay uh it's altcoin month by the way we obviously know that it's altcoin year but right now it's bitcoin season so um yeah so that's that uh now Today, I want to focus on a fan favorite here in our community. Here we got Luxo. Okay, let's refresh that. Right now, we are ranked 240. We are hanging out at $12.88. We are up 6.7%. 27,000 sats, 402,000 Ethereum, respectively. Market cap, a little under 200 million, guys. Total supply, 100 million. We all know this. Trading volume, 6 million. Last two weeks ago, when two to three weeks, yeah, two weeks ago, we were at like $10 million trading volume. Wait till this is 6 billion, guys. Uh, 2022. 2022 into 2023, we're going to be seeing the billions in terms of 24 hour markets. And again, we are literally listed nowhere. That is totally fine. Um, people. Fabian and Marjorie do not want too much hype for this project just yet without any any product. Technically, there is products, universal profiles, NFTs, etc., etc., but we need a legit mainnet and a legit digital lifestyle application for all of the high-end luxury brands that are partnered and advising Luxo. So right now it is 52% off again. You guys know my target all-time high sale price is 69% and above. Okay. Uh, but for particular coins that I'm into, aka core positions, I dollar cost average no matter what the price every week. You know what I'm saying? This thing could be $57. I'll still dollar cost average every week into it. Doesn't matter. Once a coin reaches a core position, uh, this is irrelevant to me. Well, it is not completely irrelevant, especially if I want to shop for a better price. But no, nah, it really doesn't matter. Ether scan. Let's take a look here. We are still below nine thousand holders, guys. Nine thousand holders. Okay. If you were to contrast that to say, Doge or Shib, Shib has six hundred fifty thousand plus holders, guys. We're only 8900 so yeah that's look so and oh by the way this is the website right here looking fresh as usual per usual arrangement and of course when we go here we got the two superstars and all of these insane all of these insane partnerships okay like Instagram geez come on guys like wow um, so that's looking good and also I am currently working on an NFT that I plan to drop on OpenSea uh, if you are a fan of Twin Peaks okay let me uh, just in case you're literally born in you know 2002 it is basically a um, television show directed by one of my favorite directors uh, David Lynch he's very out there um, in terms of style so you know if you're into Twin Peaks uh, I would recommend that you watch it if you want a wild ride and uh, yeah I'm gonna be uh, I'm currently working on a set uh, I'm thinking about three or four NFTs out in a set and uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated when that drops. It's gonna be interesting and then of course For future drops. I want to do it on the look so network um, 
friend of mine over on Twitter showed me how to display my works of art, my NFTs, in a virtual metaverse uh, art gallery. So I'm pretty stoked on that. So yeah, let's get after it here. So it's looking like I still have my drawings here. Uh, Let's just get rid of everything. Screw it, man. All right, so let's take a look at the monthly here. So as we can see here, the previous quarter was not looking good. We had this major, major swing high here on March 1st. And I would, I would probably say this could be our swing low here on the 1st of June somewhat technically we'll see and it's looking like a new swing high is trying is beginning to form here uh overall i would say look so is looking fantastic so if this were to be the swing low this would be our new support level here at three dollars and 96 cents that might be the floor floor price and of course this is our major, major swing high up here, our all-time high. But assuming this might be the next one, this could be our next challenge here, our next uh, swing high resistance here on $14.69. So structurally, we still got a lot of work to do in terms of the monthly. So let's go into the weekly here. Uh, the weekly actually turn on some other indicators here so the weekly is looking fantastic guys we are well above the 50-day moving average here all e e exponential moving averages all the ribbons have gone completely bullish okay and then we do have this trend here it may be a little un it may be a little unsustainable However, there's still there's still a lot of slack here that we can work with. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Yep, so this was our last swing low here. And it's looking like we want to form another swing high. So we'll see. I'll just I'll just draw this happy channel here, you know, just for, just for the hype. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, you know how we do it here in the Luxo camp. It's up only, baby. Up only with some confirmations. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is just looking fantastic, guys. In terms of the weekly here, we got. I don't see any money flow in my oscillators. However, VWAP is looking fantastic here, and it's looking like Luxo wants to move up. It wants to go up only. And that's how we like it here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spread out the channel a little bit here, just, just so, just to, just to give it some room. But it's looking like, it's looking like, this is what Luxo wants to do in terms of the weekly here, and which is totally fine with me. I mean, again, like I said, guys, I'm talking about high, high, um, high high three figures coming up here in 2022 so yeah that's the that's the weekly weekly is looking fantastic guys so now when we go into the daily here this is where things start to look really really good okay so again we have good money flow here VWAP acting as support this bullish confirmation or this bullish divergence actually started as far back as the 27th of June and finally started to pop the fuck off here on Jul on the 21st 20 24th 21st of July which should probably coincide with oh I thought it was going to coincide with the uh, the bottom that was confirmed Sorry guys, I had to check on something. So 
this bullish divergence here actually popped the fuck off and you can see that it was confirmed right here on the 22nd or even earlier had you scooped that green dot confirmation and boy guys let me tell you something right now i do have so many confirmations for fucking luxo telling me hey it's a good time to buy uh you'd be up 130 percent guys okay so that is looking fucking fantastic and it's looking like we had bearish divergences trying to come to fruition did not did not happen did not happen sorry guys that was put to bed uh peaks and valleys bwap acting as support money flow looking fantastic look at all these ema ribbons boys we bounced off this we bounced off this level at 11 dollars twice okay and we have bullish continuation here all across and we can see that post green dot confirmation here on the 22nd 21st confirmed the trend reversal okay and and this trend is the this trend's got some legs okay i'll i'll just move it a little bit down here just to float our confirmation bias here and uh i just i just see look, look so pulling off one of these guys it is just this bullish continuation is absolutely beautiful okay and we got tons of support this is why i love confirmation here we have support here at 972 we have support here at 840 and it's looking like my moving averages are curving the fuck up just like first thing in the morning you know what i'm saying so that is fantastic uh as far as i'm concerned looks so is looking great again uh if you want some entries please go into the smaller time frames okay and <laughs> even the one hour, even the one hour is just this bullish cross is oh, insane let's look at the 15 minute okay we have we have a lot more volatility in the 15 minute lots of liquid in this coin guys these little these bearish divergences are just so weak they're like being engulfed by the money flow itself but we it's looking like we got a little dump here there's a possibility here that you could maybe scoop up some look so at the $12 range uh, again if you're in my discord I post I posted where I had my limit orders I haven't checked yet but they were around the 12 to $10 range so around here okay just in case I can catch a wick down it's looking like it's looking like look so is like nah nah bro we're not gonna do it. look at this cluster this is just it's beautiful it's beautiful so we we will see what this week will entail for all of us again we are at the mercy of bitcoin i'm still looking at that bull trap level but as far as i'm concerned right now at this moment looks like it's looking good expect higher price action higher price discovery here price discovery expect looks so to go higher i know i know a lot of people who want to get this cheaper but it's like this this cup and handle is just <laughs> I mean, come on guys. Like you you this is something that you have to make this is a decision you're gonna have to make on your own. Like look at your budget, look at the coin, hit the charts, use my uh TA as a blueprint to make your decision on what you want to do and put those uh limit orders. Or if you are a permable like me, you just market by. You know what I'm saying? But right now as bullish as i am you know just be careful tread lightly especially with this bull trap that's a possibility a strong possibility historically it happens it happens to bitcoin so you know what i'm saying uh, that's why i i have active stink bids because if we are going to dump back down i want to be able to tell myself and know that I got look so and any on all my other coins at the best price possible with the all available data and information I had at the time so yeah so that is look so guys um, that is my update on look so we're looking good guys I mean shout out to you all of the look so bulls out there holding it down 
we are just the the industry is just going to get mm, everyone's just going to be like whoa i knew about this coin but i never bought into it you know it's kind of it's kind of similar to my story with like solana like i i seen it it was a dollar could have bought but you know i was focusing on i was i had my eyes on other coins so you know you can't win them all but you know uh this is probably gonna be like another solana everyone's just gonna be like holy shit luxo just came out of nowhere i wish i fucking bought that but hey we did we're gonna be along for the ride once our ticket comes so stay patient keep stacking responsibly and i'll catch you guys in the next video later